Okay, so uh, one of the things that I did notice that when we're actually doing the recording there is that when it goes to the four chord, to the A minor, then it drops down to the G, then goes back up to A minor. So it's very similar to it, well, it is, you know, this kind of motion from the, from the one minor down to the flat seven, back up, and then to. And what's happening on the guitar there, it's, it's E minor. And there. So what's making pop once again, just like on the on the MJ track, it's that articulation um, with the heavy attack. So it's just a, a hammer on three, four, one. Starts on beat two, one. So again, it's about keeping this right hand motion going, especially you know when you're talking about playing off the beat there, that you're still So you can see note wise, you know. We're not doing anything terribly exciting, you know. It's all E minor pentatonic. And then when it's going down to the four chord, one. Uh, we're starting on the that last sixteenth note of uh, one E and on a. Uh, three, four, one. You know, it's that kind of move. So you can see once again here, it's about locking in those rhythms. And I encourage you to, to um, really check out that song and you'll hear all the other little kind of little things. I think I hit one of them in there. You know, it's got a little couple little chord things that was just going up to, to the D, uh, on the D. Uh, you know, because it's going to the D chord there. And then, and, you know, it's got a couple other little um, voicings with some fourths and things. So, you know, get in there and, and dig out some more of those cool little plucky parts. And what's going to happen is, you know, as you begin to develop a feel for this type of playing and, and locking in those rhythms, that's going to also help you with your with your lead playing because you're still playing single notes so you know don't really think of it as just oh wow we're, we're, why am i but it's those rhythms you know uh if you're you know that's still it's about the rhythm of the notes you know uh see where I'm getting to there. So once you have these kind of rhythms locked in, they're going to apply to whatever it is that you're doing. So, you know, I encourage you to just keep digging through, uh, you know, these flat picking parts. And once you have them happening there, you're going to see how it's just going to further your lead playing when you're soloing.